Phillips normally do their own thing, so we don't necessarily follow the trends. Our design team sits in Amsterdam. The European way of doing something has a certain heritage, has a certain level of craftsmanship, understanding of uh, materials, innovation in uh, fabrics or leathers or steels. The Gergensen collection brings together Gergensen, Kodrat, Muirhead and ourselves to work together to tell a, a stronger story that any individual brand could bring. And in other events we do the same with Bowers and Abbey Road. We make good products, but working with these partners has allowed us to go much wider in our thinking. We have four principles. We should create designs that are easily understood. So we bring in the desire for beautiful products, but we also have to bring in and balance that with ease of use. So if, for example, if you pick up a remote control, it should be intuitive that which end is front, which end is uh, the point you interact with the, the device. We should have no unnecessary decoration in our designs, so there should be uh, qualitative use of materials, for example, but nothing more than is uh, needed. We design or develop what we think is the right thing, and then we set ourselves the challenge of making it look as beautiful as we can. Now, we think doing that um, sometimes in itself actually informs really interesting design choices along the way. Uh, the perfect example in our case would be something like the tweeter on top, that's uh, a material or, or a form in this particular case. It's not there simply as an interesting and innovative design detail, it's there because it makes the product better. So we look for innovative uh, exploration and material use. Uh, so it could be a new material to the category or a combination. Our, our leather comes from the meat industry. We, we buy it as a, a byproduct. We take what's there and we then turn it into a, a usable high-end luxury material. If you pick up the, the premium remote control that we have, the leather on the backside is their leather and it really gives a, a, a sense of qualitative um, application finesse of, of an unexpected material. It feels differently. It makes you want to hold it for longer. You don't want to put that remote control down. That piece of leather cannot be replicated anywhere else, anywhere in the world. It will be completely and utterly unique. It's like a fingerprint. We talk about finessing the details. So the coming together of parts in a way that delights the user. Design is not about ornamentation, it's really about the form. We're known a lot for organic and very modern shapes um, and almost a very bold expressions but that are calming, but they're uh, made out of hard materials. It's our job as a design team to be distinct, outstanding in a, in a meaningful way. It's the smaller details such as the remote control, the user experience, uh, the visible sound or not, those details become the differentiation between brand A and B. The product is a Philips product. The overlap is there, that's why we're working together, but there's also other spaces that each brand has that allows us or the other partners to leverage uh, the collaboration. Across those brands, there's well over 500 years of heritage there. And when you put together the development teams, for example, they end up speaking the same vocabulary. Everybody gets it. What's the intent? Do the best you can. How do we do it? Use the best things we can. What's the process at the end? Make the best product you can. We hope that one plus one equals more than two. It basically focuses our organisation to be as good as we can be. And similarly for them, ultimately the end result is a, is a success for all. Mm -hmm.